Hello, this vid's called uh, Safe European Home and it's an Ian Stuart Donaldson and the BMP. Now obviously the first two are musical references because Safe European Home was used by The Clash who were a punk band and Ian Stuart Donaldson was part of the, uh, the band Screwdriver who were uh, started off as a punk band and later became known as a skinhead band. Now of course the, the skinhead image is, a, is something that is a, a referenced in time um, uh, to the 1970s and 1980s, a uh, time that was quite violent um, all through Europe. Uh, there was practically a civil war within Italy at the time um, between the right, the left and the Mafia were all mixed in with that. Um, and the music at the time reflects that. Now, of course, a Screwdriver um, were hated by the left um, because they, they, they were associated with the, the National Front. Um, and the, one, of the, one of the biggest movements at the time was um, by people like The Clash and uh, also um, Red Wedge and some, uh, some, some uh, other members. The name I was trying to think of just there was Billy Bragg, of course. Now, Ian Stewart, Stewart Donaldson, of course, um, was quite an interesting figure in the music music business because beyond the actual music that he did, he had quite a um, a clear idea of what he thought he wanted in politics. Okay. Um, now this is beyond whether you agree or disagree with him, because I, on a lot of things I disagree with Ian Stewart Donaldson very very strongly. Okay, um, you know, I, I I grew up in the eighties, and if you told me what was the most two most immoral um, most immoral politics. Uh, at that time, I would instantly say Thatcherism and communism. Well, he was against both. Let's also examine some of the things that people have said about Ian Stewart Donaldson, which um, made it, his politics, uh, in a sense, immoral. Okay, whereas well, where the Clash, of course, I like. I I think the Clash music, and actually. Purely, if you t if you take out some of the 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 connotations of some of the music, the the riffs in Screwdriver are actually very good. A lot uh, I've got wide subscription of people to my channel, um, and some of them are not going to like that. I, I I used to like Screwdriver's music, or some are not going to like the fact that I used to like the Clash. But it's it's the punk genre, okay? Okay. Um, but Stuart Donaldson didn't like, from what I, I know of his interviews with the BBC, uh, would not have been a very, um, would not have liked his views very much, didn't like Thatcherism and he didn't like communism. He described himself as a national socialist. Now I'm a social democrat, but I'm also an English nationalist and I'm a pan-European nationalist as well because I believe Europe still has a lot to give the world because of our Enlightenment values. Now, of course, that's a contradiction on my part because National Socialism is against a lot of the views of the Enlightenment. In fact, they wanted to get rid of the whole idea of the French Revolution, some of them. But he, of course, Ian Stewart Donaldson, described himself as a British uh, National Socialist. And of course, nationalism to me is a transitionary phase to reaffirm national identity, culture, people's right to exist as a culture, 
and then you get onto the the um, bread and bricks um, meat and potato issues. You know, building things like you have social market. Uh, you produce to the point of um, maximum social benefit. Uh, all like the economic side of it, and that's why I support the European Union. Which brings us to the point that Ian Stewart Donaldson supported uh, a united Europe, a Europe for Europeans, in his his, his own words. Um, and yet the BNP and UKIP and the English Defence League, they're all against Europe. In fact, they they they're speeches are far more against Europe than they are against immigration which makes you think if you take the repulsive figure of Nick Griffin and put him against somebody who is an articulate figure like Ian Stewart Donaldson who you might not agree with as I have already said I didn't agree with everything he said um, but let's get to those moral issues Ian Stewart Donaldson said things apparently that he believes that disabled people should be uh, put down or um, immigrants should be deported. Now, of course, those things aren't happening forcefully to people, we would think. Um, but people, people, of course, are deported, if, if, if forcibly deported, okay? And people are now being given the choice of euthanasia there's been a long um, debate about whether people had the right to take their own lives or other such things and of course if people are terminally ill um, they've that, that decision is being made by doctors and all the rest of it uh, and also withdrawal or treatment so those are all moral views so it's funny how society well, they criticised Ian Stuart Donaldson for having those views in the 1980s. Okay. Um, you know, have, have now moved on. And if there's any force, it, of course, his, his, uh, his death seemed either... Um, there's been many ideas that he, there, there was some sort of foul play in his death. Okay. But surely... The, the forces that were most against a united Europe, okay, are those forces w which probably have a big influence over the modern BNP, and that would be the traditional conservative, uh, anti-European, uh, and the Middle Eastern lobbies. Now, personally, I think Ian Stewart Donaldson died in a tragic crash and it's very sad for his family uh, so I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to be like one of these reds who want to gloat over his um, his death but can you we, we can't even know what he would have thought of the London bombings carried out by uh, Copeland or any of those other people personally I think those people are terrorist scum and they don't deserve to have anyone's respect at all. Um, but when the left talk about, or, or sorry, when the left has been changed from being associated with economic issues and welfare to multiculturalism, and when the, that seems to be the only thing that they have left because they have been completely taken over by the Frankfurt School. Now, um, of a thought which is completely obsessed with deindustrialization and multiculturalism, whereas I am for the social democratic, right? Which is the the, the European, the G German and Celtic tr tradition, right? The English tradition. Okay. Um, now, one of Screwdriver's own drummers was part of that tradition as well. So that's a whole, the whole rock image is debatable. But the BNP fundamentally, I believe, wants civil war in this country. 